On this episode of Spirits, the Spirit Chasers crew heads to Tiffin, Ohio to investigate the Viaduct Bar and Grill. The Viaduct has been a local landmark since the early 1800s. The bar has gone through many different names over the years. It started out as a saloon and bar for the attached livery stable here in town. Lee, the current owner of the Viaduct, gives us a little background information on former owners as well as the building itself. And that's Bobby. Bobby Eisenhard. He ran this place. His brother owned it originally. He took it over, ran it for years, and then died. And then his other brother, Dave, took it over, ran it for years, and then they got rid of it. And multiple over since then. 1908, there was a grocery store across the, mm -hmm. the street there, and um, one of our police officers was walking in there as it was being robbed. He was shot as he was walking into there. Okay. And it was called Breckley's Grocery Store. So they carried the cop in here and laid him on the pool table, and um, he didn't die in here, but they ended up getting him on a train and took him to Toledo, and that's where he died, but okay. they, they laid him in here. So he was actually shot right across the street? Yep. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's pretty Pursuing a, a known criminal who never got caught. And actually, last name was same as mine. Oh, yeah. Butch that's Hall. one down at the corner here at our 911 memorial. Mm -hmm. They have a piece on that cop, that's that police officer. Okay. Cop. Tells the whole story like he just did. Oh, wow. And that's why this has had a saloon and a bar here for so long, mm -hmm. because it was livery stable and everybody would go there and wait for their horse and wagon to be fixed. Absolutely. And, play cards and drink all day. Uh-huh. And get on your horse and they take you home because it knew the way. And, and what's wrong with that? Yeah. I say, I wish it worked that way now. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, this has been around since like, this has been a bar since like the 1800s or something. Yeah. It's yeah. arguably one of the older bars in Ohio. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. The girl did an article with the, her at TU doing a paper for the advertiser and said that there has been a saloon in this location since 1817. Yeah. Let's hear some of the first-hand encounters from current and former staff of the Viaduct. It was a Wednesday evening. Uh, I was working up here by myself after a karaoke night. And I uh, was closing down, got everybody out of here. and uh, was getting ready to count down the money in the drawer there. and Take out the trash, lock up, wipe the bar down. And, uh, started counting the money, counting the drawer down. And I heard footsteps uh, over around the bathroom area. And I proceeded to to check to see if anybody was still in there. Sometimes you'll get a straggler every so often in there that's maybe not feeling the best in the bathroom or still using the bathroom. And I checked uh, both bathrooms, there's nobody in there. Came back, started doing my thing again, and I, the, the squeaking from the door hinge uh, kind of alarmed me. I heard that, thought somebody else was here. So uh, tried getting a hold of my boss. He didn't answer the phone. I ended up texting him, like, hey man, uh, sorry, I, I gotta get out of here. So I didn't count the drawer, didn't take out the trash, left all the lights on. I was able to lock the doors, but I uh, skedaddled out of here as fast as I could. Uh, wasn't for me. <laughs> you know, as far as myself, I've yeah. been in the office at 4.30 in the morning by myself. And one time I thought someone came back in. I heard the door, front door, footsteps. And I thought, who the heck is coming back in here? He was the only one that really had a key then. And, I, and he was in town, so I thought, all right, what, come out here. What are you doing? He's not here. There's nobody here. That was kind of weird. So my uh, bouncer and I closed one night and um, we were standing here having a shift drink and I was standing right about here. My bouncer was leaning against the cooler there facing this way and um, I was telling him a story and as I was looking at that doorway behind you, a little girl walked past in a red dress, ruffles on her shoulder and uh, I quit talking because of what I seen and uh, my bouncer, he, he looked at me and he says, did you see that? And um, I, that's when I knew he seen what I saw. And we just, we dropped our beers and, and we headed out of here. Um, I've also seen um, apparitions out on the back patio, heard footsteps up in the, the apartment, the old apartment above on the other side. The one that you have to get through the correct. crawl space, yeah. Correct, yeah. Okay. And uh, TV's coming on, and, and um, yeah, a lot of noises, footsteps. It was, uh, when was this from? You said just the other day? Uh, we, it was March 25th. Okay. Two, this was in the middle of the day, 2.24 p.m. Watch over here on the right. You see them shadows? Here's another one. Oh, yeah. I don't that's know. Really Did that curtain move? Too? No. Well, I don't know. You can't see the curtain, but then that's it. They're gone. There's... Huh. It was enough for the camera to recognize the motion. Yeah. 
and I've never seen. And they're dark. Here we'll play it again. Dark shadows, yeah, they're I dark guess. shadows. There's no wow. way they could come out of there. Yeah, and there was like a motion to it from left to right. It was. Yeah. If it was like like curtains or something like that, I feel like it would be like you know oscillating back and forth. Right. Yeah. For it to be one direction. Yeah, I know. It. So it's right there where that curtain. Yeah. 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 Wow. That's cool. See that freaking me out a little bit. Yeah. Oh. See it right up there. Yeah. Yeah, you feel the electricity. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of electricity with the coolers. Yeah, sorry. That's a whole different kind of like, it's a yeah, whole different thing. So, yeah. I am too. I think we're really going to get some stuff here. Well, hopefully, it's all good energy. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. 11 years in May, and it's all been good for me. I don't know. I haven't yeah. felt anything negative yet. I don't like going to the bathroom by myself when I'm here. I've, I've actually heard the woman's door shut and slam three times one time, and I was like, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, he's long long here. Okay. Yeah, can't do it. Lee continues to show us around the viaduct, leading us past the dance hall, past the stage, and into the dressing room where bands and performers would get ready for the show. And just today, when I fixed that camera, and I was watching myself on it, I could see things flashing by my head. And there's no bugs mm -hmm. right now, I mean. But I have to show you that video if you like. Um, and then, boom, you here. I don't know if you want to use this area. You know, obviously, I can open the curtain if you want. Um, this is our stage for when we have live music. I can get my brother to play here. He plays a lot of blues. Yeah, and this is our, our band room. You gotta open it. It's not nothing. It's nothing special, but it's very got a lot of history, and okay. we're, we're afraid to change it because ah. so many people wrote their names in here. Exactly. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. And we've had artists that play here said mm -hmm. this was weird. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like they didn't know what. And then back here is just our garage. Mm -hmm. And it's mostly just storage. You get beer back here. Mm -hmm. This was, I don't know, it's been here a while. It was, they turned them garages and they made a recycling center for years. I'll just hang the lock right here. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Get doors open and the curtains open, and uh, we can plant some pretty good equipment around this place. Do you think we need the DVR stuff? Yeah, yeah. 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 let's crank it up. I know, I know. That's gotta be that. Uh, that's gotta be. I'm putting it in. We got some long runs here. Yeah, you do. Did you bring it? Yes, yes you did. I did. Yeah. I bring the wire to our conversation. As we head back to the main bar area to get set up, Misty tells us about an encounter she had just a moment ago. I heard a man say hey from like literally like right here. Yeah. He said hey to me, and I was like, oh, okay, well, this is probably sad. Per usual, we do a sweep to see if there are high levels of EMF or electromagnetic fields coming from the equipment and appliances behind the bar. Sam prepares to head up a ladder and check out a sealed off apartment above the bar. The ceiling is right here? Yeah. Because you can see the stairway, they, when they once build the office, they can check the stairway out. Okay. I got the ladder, don't worry about it, guys. I'm gonna sneak behind the ladder's not going anywhere. You're sneaking behind Trust me. Sweet. This, this is cool. <laughs> I'm nervous. Oh, no. This is great. I love stuff like this. <laughs> He's saying he's not stuck. Look at him. Uh oh, flashlight problems. He's like, no, nope, I can get my butt in there. Yeah. All right. I have to call the fire department. We can't get you guys out. <laughs> no, I don't do heights, so I just. I don't either. That's why I ain't ever get my fat butt up there. See, aren't you glad you weren't wearing the leggings this time? Yeah, because you guys would have like a freaking butthole shot. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't disappoint us. Curious being filmed. Oh my lord. It's your voice, Logan. Help me, stepbrother. I'm stuck. Damn, what the? Is he, is he in yet? He's like halfway there. Mr. Jay, he's already in there. Oh, yeah. Hey, I made it, Misty. 
I can't believe Brandy trusts me with this f***ing camera, too. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to hand it up to you or no. anything? Okay. <clears throat> so the letter's, the letter's oh, calm. I don't the, like this. This letter's not going anywhere, sweetie. I, I'm I swear right to God. behind you. I'm right behind you. You are not ever going anywhere, I swear. No, I just don't do heights. In this I, I don't either, so I understand about security. Watch your step. You go right yeah, through this. Well, that's, there's plywood there. It shouldn't be. Shouldn't be uh, there. I don't know if there's a whole bunch here. I think it's just. There's a plywood there. It should be on the studs. Oh. No, sir. You're not going in? Can't. No. Mm -mm. You Why? Nope. Why? Heights, bro. What do you mean heights, bro? I am froze. I don't know how my husband does it. He's froze. Up <laughs> we are going to have to call the fire department. Oh, God. She's coming back down. Oh! Right. Right. Stop. Misty. No, as in, like, I don't want to... Get on your Somebody butt and come down that way. We'll catch you. <laughs> I got it. You say you'll catch me? What is that? How many times can you? So Misty, how was your uh, how was your just your trip in the? Uh, I'm sweating just from being in that cubby hole because I do not do heights and it just. Space. That freaking hole is like half is more than halfway taller than me. Comes up to like my yeah, neck. Yeah, it is like probably. Six I'm not feet. climbing that thing. I can't believe the both of those guys got in there. Oh, they did. I seen Sam squeeze his butthole through there, or his butt. I mean. <laughs> wow, he squeezed his butthole through there. <laughs> he was there. like, Bloop. you know, like if a worm was trying to go in a tree, that was kind of like it. Oh. Okay, we're investigating up the top. In the apartment over top of the uh, over the bar. And nobody, when did they decide this? How long has this nobody lived here? Um, it's been a long time. 10 years, 20 years, 30 years? Uh, 20 plus years. 20 plus years. Nobody has been up here. The following footage is a bit distorted due to technical issues with Sam's camera, but here's some evidence that he captured while he was up there. Do you like the people who currently own this establishment? Okay, good. Thank you. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, they seem to be taking care of the place. They're a nice crew down there. Can you go ahead and turn the flashlight back on for me, please? Thank you. you see, that's how this works. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Sam believes this is a possible growl. Oh, hello. How are you doing? Yeah, you just gave me the chill again. You figured that out now. Can you go ahead and, and step away from it and turn it off? Just to validate? I'd love to have you do that. Either that or turn on the other one. Touch the other one and it'll come on. It won't hurt you. We're not here to bother you or to hurt you. We just want to make, make communication. There you go. Turn it off. Thank you so much. Up next, Brandy and Misty go ahead and detail what they felt as they walked through the viaduct prior to the investigation. Pretty much on the stage area, I was having... It felt female to me, so I was feeling energy, hairs were rising, and I felt a female presence. Um, and then back by the restrooms, um, I felt a male present or a male presence, not a present, and I'm not gifting anything. Um, I felt a male presence, and um, actually to the point where after you go through to a certain extent, I didn't want to go any further. So the first place I went was clear back in the back on the right hand side of the stage. There is a, a room. Uh, I suspect that that's where bands and stuff get ready. Um, in there, there's a very strong female presence it made me want to cry, and I kept hearing her saying, help me. Um, on the left-hand side, actually directly behind the stage, there's another door that goes into like a storage room. When you walk in the far left-hand corner, there's a man that stands in the very back. To me, he feels like a supervisor. He's standing and watching and making sure that everything's um, being done correctly. Um, that room also feels very organized to me, like when 
the hustle and bustle that goes on there, it's they have a pattern of how they do things and where they place things. The energy in the music room uh, where the woman was crying, the energy there was very chaotic, just kind of out of control and very chaotic. Um, when I step out to the stage, the stage area to me feels very light and festive. Of course, it, it would be in a band area. Um, I went back to the bathrooms where you were and I didn't feel anything back there. Ted and Brandy seem to be making contact with a spirit on the stage. Yeah? You really energized? I was too close. Mm -hmm. I took Is a that it? Was Brandy too close to you? One, two, three. Okay. I, I'm just moving one leg. I'm not even moving forward. Okay? Myself, Sam, and Misty head outside to investigate the patio. Sam is setting up a flashlight with hopes of using it to make contact with a spirit. Oh, thank you for turning the flashlight on. Yeah, was that you from upstairs? Did you follow us down? Go ahead and step away from it. Step away and turn it off. You know how to do it. If you don't step away, I'm going to think that I need to adjust the flashlight. I'm going to make it harder for you to turn it on. Can you turn it off for us? Just step away. There you go. Thank you. All right. So we know that it's not adjusted wrong. I'm going to get Leo. <laughs> <laughs> so do you stay back out there on the back porch? On the patio? Is this your place? Do you like to hang out out here? If you like to hang out here... And I'm just turn that flashlight on. You can let us know. Oh, you. you turn the other one on. Yeah, there you go. Second one turned on. Good. S step away from them. Here, I'll back up so hopefully you feel a little more comfortable. Is that better? Thank you. Now the other. Do the same thing to that other flashlight that's still on, please. Thank you. Sam, what were you asking about the little girl? Yeah. The, um, are you the little girl that was here that they see around the location? I know a couple of the guys saw, saw a little girl 
walk across the uh, one of the uh, entranceways between the two rooms. Was that you that they saw? Yes, yes. it was. Okay. Great. Okay, step away. Turn turn the flashlight off. Can you back up, please? We just need you to turn it back off if you can, so I can ask you another question, if that's okay. I'm starting to turn the other one on. I know on. it's hard, especially if you're a little girl, but we really thank you for uh, talking to us. Thank you. Thank you. Are you tired of turning the flashlights on right now? If so, you can make a noise so that we know that it's you. Can you make a noise, knock on something? Would it help? Uh, no, no, okay. Okay, turn that back off. And let me ask you this, would it be easier for you if I went ahead and I moved the flashlights closer to the edge of the table? I guess not. I guess you're doing okay with them there. So you're a little girl. How old are you? Are you eight? Are you nine? Are you ten? Are you eleven? Are you twelve? Six. Well, you're not a little girl. You're a young lady. She's six. What's yeah. that? Yeah, I see them both came on. Yeah, I said, you're not a little girl. You're a young lady at age 12. I said six at the same time you said 12. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I don't know. Okay. probably confirm that. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's confirm it. Go ahead. Kind of confusing. Step. Now, what I was going to ask is if you are six years old. All right, now you ask yours. Are you 12? Okay, let's do that again. So I'm going to start at 10. Are you 10 years old? If so, turn the flashlight on. Are you 11 years old? Are you 12 years old? Are you 13 years old? Okay, and that's yes. where I was going when I started asking the question when we were both going. Because I had said 12 and then... 13. Yeah, gotcha. so. Gotcha. So you're 13. Okay. So like I said, you're you're at 13, you're not a little girl, you're a young lady. I bet you're very very pretty. Will you shut it off and come over here and give me a big old hug? Bet you haven't had a hug in a while. Shut it off and come give me a hug. Come on. Right over here. Come on. I got my arms out. Come on. Got to shut it all the way off and come over here. Come on. There you go. Come on. Okay. Come on. I'm going to put my arms around you if you're over here. Yeah, now I'm getting cold on my chest. So, okay. I got a big old hug for you. Okay. Was that good? Bye. It was nice to meet you. As seen on previous episodes, we like to use what's called the Estes method. Misty is sitting separate from all of us with noise-canceling headphones on. She can only hear the spirit box and not the questions we're asking. This is to prevent us hearing what we want to hear as answers coming through the spirit box. But you need to speak through Misty. Whoever's going to talk to us needs to talk through Misty. She has the walkie-talkie. Anthony. Someone named Anthony's here? What's your last name, Anthony? N. N. So it begins with an N? What's your full last name? Can you give us the rest of it? Horatio Kane over Who's here. Who's there? We are. Who are you? David. David. Hello, David. Hi, David. Hey, David. 
Hi, David. Is this one of your favorite hangouts, too? We heard about the bar fights and the people being stabbed. Were you stabbed here? David, are you the one that said hello to Misty when she came in? Really? Really? Yeah, really. Why do you say really? What's that supposed to mean? Anthony, do you know John? Look, look. Where? Where are we supposed to look? Me. Me. Where are you? Zach. Zach. Zach? Nope, Zach's not here. Not that kind of show. We're better. Are you looking for someone named Zach? Wedding? Wedding? Did you come there after a so wedding? A weird screen. Because I got married. <laughs> That's why there's a weird screen. <laughs> Was that your wedding night? <laughs> What's the best way for us to communicate with you? No. Audio purposes, that's the ice maker. So it wants us to bring the drink? Do it. I say do it. Do it, yeah. <laughs> There's a drink on the bar you can have. What is your purpose for being here? Help, a really high-pitched female voice, help. Are you in the back room? The female, are you in the back room? You gotta let us know where you're at so we can help you. Bobby. Bobby. Female voice Bobby. Bobby. Is Bobby <coughs> needing to help you? Well, there's the other Bobby that died. Oh. That's Not me. Right. That's right, sorry. <laughs> In the, the, the immortal words of the poet Shaggy, it wasn't me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Does Bobby need to help you? Or is Bobby with you? Which Bobby are you talking about? Can you tell us which Bobby you were calling out to just now? Bobby Eisenhart? That was my chair. Although I don't know what made it move because I didn't move. <laughs> Are you trying to play a game of pool? I heard f On the pool table? <laughs> Love a good game of uh, nine Pop ball. <laughs> I, I, would, I would have said eight ball because if it's nine ball, that means somebody's got a little bit of a condition going on. <laughs> Either one of them has three or one of them has one. <laughs> it's like one of those word problems in school. I think maybe she was in that back room back here, but 
issues. So it's her in the background? Yeah. Yeah. You can do that. Okay. All right. Do, do, do we just grab her and take her back? Or do we <laughs> yeah, we, let's, let's, let's not tell her. Let's not tell her. Let's not tell her. Just grab her and take her. Blindfold. Grab her. I'm just going to sit there. Take over her head. <laughs> let's just move her and I'll explain a lot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What are you doing that for? <laughs> I don't know, right? Alright, Brady's grabbing her, and I'm telling her why. You want me to keep it on? You guys look excited. I have no fucking idea what's going on. I said, there you go. That's awesome. <laughs> yep. Hi, female. Hi. <laughs> nope. Who's that for? The ghost. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> well, she said hell, and I didn't know whether it was the spirit or her. <laughs> I think it was the spirit. <laughs> There. Here. Okay. Now our, our interpreter is back there with you. How can we help you? Use our person back there to speak through. One, two, male voice, same voice. Say Bon Jovi. Can you repeat that please? We didn't understand. Is the watchman back there with her? And one. And one. And one. No way. Who's the other one? Who else is there? Really bizarre, but like you hear my footsteps right now. Uh huh. Or maybe it's his. I don't know. I heard the sticky footsteps behind me as I was walking. Uh -huh. But did he walk in? Yeah, he. Yeah. Walking. All right. Never mind. I was following you this way. I was flashlight turning on, but I couldn't turn my flashlight. No. The flashlight turned on while I was here, but I couldn't turn off. Tim. We're listening. Go ahead and talk to us. Hello? 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 Hello. We're still here. Can you talk to us more, please? Hello? All I've got in this shot now is your belly, Sam. The woman who keeps asking for help. Oh, you're still funny then. Okay. Were you part of the brothel? No. Oh, okay. she seemed pretty pissed about that question. Were you offended by my question? Get out. You say get out? 
Why do you want to stick it out? Who wants us to get out? Stop. Stop. Are you holding others back from speaking to us? Yes. Please step out of the way. Me. But if you're holding others back from talking Me. to us, we'd like you to step out of the way. We walk Ted back so that he can try his hand at the Estes method. However, this is short-lived as there aren't many replies and we get a tip from a Facebook Live comment that we should go to the basement. Okay, here's a question for you guys. So if you know what this land originally was, what was the bar originally built on? What it's on now. It's, right. But it's always been here. It's, was it... What do you mean? So, so from the 1800s, there was nothing. Be was there a mound or fort ball is all? Fort ball is all it was. Yeah. Okay, so yep. it was the the fort was like he said over here on Frost Parkway, mm -hmm. from about where the bridge was mm -hmm. to that area, and then this was just kind of settled separately. Okay. And it might have reached this far. I'm not sure how big it was, but okay. but this was all fort ball. And it was just nothing here until then. Are, are you uh, Tiffin? Is, now there was a Tiffin was on the other side of the river, right? But it was a small settlement, and then they finally grew up, and then they formed together as Tiffin. Because somebody, the, the person that sent you watching the message, on the was Facebook, watching yeah. on Facebook, they said there's something going on. It has to do some, with something below. So now there's a basement here somewhere. Yeah. How do you get in the basement? That door over there. Yeah. Let, let me let me grab my uh, camera here. Grab right back. That's fine. We've been in worse places, trust me. Yeah. So, yeah. So, it's like. Just watch your head. Yep. Yeah. Oh, well, if I hit my head, you can worry more about your, your uh, threshold here. Is this where we find bones, like the Monroe house? Yeah, well, look back up in there. That goes for a long ways. Mm hmm. Is that the portal to hell? Is this the real one? Could be. All I can say is if it is, I'm tackling your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready. You don't have to outrun the demon, you just have to outrun your slowest friend. Alright, here we go. Covering the mouth. Yeah, that's a sump pump. Okay, sump pump. Got it. Not the portal to hell. And that block will keep them from coming up anyway. And it's a holy block. Yeah. It's actually made out of uh, leftover brick from the Vatican. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it smells like yeah, yeah. I'm really sorry I asked you to do that. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it smells bad down here because we opened, well, Sam opened the sump pump. I was told to open the sump pump. <laughs> yeah. And I, and I know we're only see a little bit of the video where I actually opened that. <laughs> because Bobby would be going, oh, look, Sam opened it up. But he'll cut out his section yeah. if you watch. Yeah, like, oh, are you opening that? But, yeah. But I have the voice record, so I can get both of you. Uh. <laughs> Before calling it a night, we decide to use one of our communication apps similar to a portal to see what replies we can get. She passed. She passed. Oh. Who passed? Sasha. Sasha. But it's her. John, do you want to use this device to talk? No. No? Okay. <laughs> Well, that was obvious. <laughs> John? 400. 400 what? Come over here and God speak. Him. Come over here and speak with us, John. 
those who are seen. There never seems to be a lack of responses when it comes to using this device. It looks like, however, the spirits decide to focus on Ted as we wrap things up. How many spirits are in here? Ted. Ten. Ten. I, Ten. I heard Ted with a D. You're oh, Ted with a D. I'm gonna make this perfectly clear. <laughs> I am still alive. <laughs> I'm fully spirited, but I am still alive. <laughs> Ted is God. Ted is God? I don't think so. <laughs> hey, don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> Based on all the evidence we gathered and the experiences we shared, there's no doubt the spirits in your glass are not the only ones here at the Viaduct Bar and Grill.